universes collide because I'm wearing my sexy, sexy, real-life Deadpool FC strip. It's a custom club I created for Football Manager 2024, and you can catch all the action for that over on Twitch. Just search for me, Deadpool underscore 2028, your old mate DP. It's fun times. You should check it out. And if you're not, you should give yourself an uppercut. But we're not here to talk about Deadpool FC, are we? We are here for Project Palermo. Palermo! Welcome back to Project Palermo. This is I, your old mate DP, here in the DP Dome, and we have Palermo in 15th place. Yep, we've just dropped the spot. Uh, we're on 31 points, and we are, what, nine points clear of Genoa, which is interesting. Very, very interesting. So that's what the league table looks like. We're all the way down here. I'd like to be all the way up here, but realistically, not going to happen. And the form's been a little bit road -y -y. We'll have a look at what's been going on since you lot were here. So I last spoke to you uh, back here in January, I believe. And uh, we lost to Juve 2-1 in the Copa Italia. And we lost to Bologna 1-0. Then we went away to Lazio. And uh, sorry, we, Lazio came to our joint. I get confused between home and away. It's very complicated. We won that 1-0, which was great. We got spanked by Milan. We lost to Torino. We beat Brescia 3-1. Fun times were had by all. And then a draw against Como. Lost to Atalanta. A draw with Roma. Very huge point for us. That was impressive. A narrow loss to Inter. Uh, we did give them a good run for their money. And then a 2-2 draw with Juventus. Couple of friendlies in here. Now, the reason I've done that is because we've got this ridiculously big squad. You can have up to 15 players on the bench. I can't fill it with the players we've got because we don't have enough. But really, really hard to get everybody into the squad playing and fit. So those couple of friendlies were just to get the, the bit players up to full fitness so we can use them a bit more and not be punished for it. So just a bit of man management. Uh, it's not my strong suit. It's not my forte by any stretch of the imagination. Apologies, I was just checking my phone and putting it on silent while I'm recording so it doesn't go ding, ding, ding and annoy everybody. It's some inside baseball there. But that was the reasoning for that. The other thing that's happened is we've had a youth intake, uh, which was very, very good. If we look at the youth candidates, uh, apparently it's a potential golden generation that includes two goalkeepers and a central defender. So figure that out, but lots of high potential, some decent uh, potential backups coming through and then just some, you know, some pretty average stuff. But that was exciting and I've been meaning to talk about it for the last couple of episodes when we got the preview and completely forgot. So apologies for that. The other thing I've been doing is a little bit of maths. If we go to Syria, I know, right? Maths, who would have thought it and look at stages. Uh, and I've just gone back the last couple of seasons. I can't go back any further than that. Just to try and get the vibe of how many points we're going to need to avoid relegation. You can see the relegation battles have been pretty tight in the league. 35 points uh, wasn't enough. Uh, sorry, 33 points wasn't enough to save Empoli. Uh, 28 wasn't enough to save Cagliari. 35 was enough for Monza to survive here and 39. Uh, and then the season after, last season, Hells Verona survived on 32 points. Moderna went down on 30. 35 would have been enough for safety there. Definitely would have been enough for safety here. But 40 points is kind of what you're chasing to be comfortable. And as things stand at the moment, <clears throat> we only have, uh, do, 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 let me see, 34 points. So another six points. And I'd feel semi-comfortable declaring safety. And that's what we're chasing. Every point from here on in is critical. We do have uh, just about, at this stage, more points than games played. 31 over 30. And that's sort of your, your marker. But another, another six points or so. And uh, I think we're good. I think we're golden. Uh, ideally, another nine to get up to 40 is what we're, what we're after. And we kick off that mission... Uh, for the remainder of the season. Bearing in mind, there's only eight games left. That snuck up on me. Yikes. Uh, we've got to play Sassuolo, who are up in ninth. We play them away. And then Udinese, who are 14th. So right in our wheelhouse, they're the ones who have just jumped us on the league table. There they are, cheeky little monkeys. We do have a better goal difference in them, though. So if we can pick up a win against Udinese, pick up a win against Sassuolo, it's almost job done. Uh, looking at the inbox, blah, blah, blah. Yep, that's all fine. It's not even the inbox. That's just gamey things. And here we go. We're going to jump in. We're going to play Sassuolo away and hopefully get a result. Uh, Eddie Salcedo is injured again. He, he troubles me, that man. Samuel Dahl has taken a knock recently as well. He's not fully fit. 
uh, might come off the bench. Valparto's not fully fit. Chiquinho's not fully fit. They've been away on international duty. Same with Ratnik. So, yeah, some iffy stuff going on there. But Salcedo, we just can't keep him fit. And it's really, really annoying. Anyway, here's your squad for the game against Sassuolo. Fructal in goal. Di Chiara gets a nod with Ceccaroni, Mercandali and Pierozzi uh, as your defensive four. Uh, Sotelo, new boy Hugo Sotelo. Um, oh, that reminds me, you haven't even seen the transfers. Or at least not all of them. Hmm. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you're not aware of who's in, and I'll try to cover them off uh, later on. Uh, but Ranocchia as well with Hugo Sotelo. This is Hugo Sotelo. He looks good. He's 23 years old. He's Spanish. He plays in midfield, and he's got a whole bunch of yellow. That's all you really need to know. Uh, we brought him in from Inter uh, on loan for 350 grand for the season. He's played at uh, Salta as well. So that's Sotelo. Now you know. We can all move on. Uh, Saidi, you already know. Vasic, you already know. Fafana, Datro Fafana, we have on... Uh, he's joining Grang Zhao, apparently. So that's annoying. Uh, but we've got him on loan from Chelsea. We're not paying a penny for him. He hasn't been fantastic, but he's here as cover on the right wing. Uh, sometimes the left wing if we need him to. And he can play up front, which is handy. Uh, and then Brunori up front. Uh, he's gone back to not scoring goals. The other thing is our top goal scorer is Chiquinho, who's not fully fit today, but has maintained some fitness. He's had a lot of injuries this season. Uh, he's our top scorer with five goals. And that's the other part of the problem. Goals have been hard to come by. They're being shared around when we score them. They've been all over the place. But yeah, I'll, I've been trying to, to settle the squad a little bit and get some consistency into it. And it seems to be having an impact. We've renewed some contracts for some players, uh, mostly the younger ones, and, and just trying to keep dynamics in a, a sensible state and not ruin them. But it's been hard going from like a win here to a loss there to a draw to, yeah. it's uh, it, It's been a rough ride and it's been very up and down. But overall, for our first season managing this club in Syria, it has not been terrible. Uh, it could have been a heck of a lot worse than what we've experienced. Uh, we're just going to reinforce the lads that there's no pressure here. No pressure at all. We don't necessarily have to win the game, but it would be delightful. Obviously, I want to win the game, but I'm not going to tell that lot because I'll freak out and get all stressified. Uh, we're not seeing a lot of the ball, and I've already got it on shorter passing, which is a concern. Perazzi there just cuts it out, takes it away. That was lovely, but he's uh, giving it straight back. Sassuolo. And we need to be careful because despite their ninth place, Sassuolo seem to be producing a hell of a lot of good young players who they keep offering out for loan. They're running a loan farm uh, and then charging outrageous fees for them. Otherwise, we'd probably be fielding a team full of Sassuolo loanees um, because they've got quite the production line happening. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit jealous. If we get to that stage uh, for Palomo, it would be delightful. I have spoken to the board. Uh, they've invested in youth recruitment, which is great. Our training facilities have been upgraded. That was finished back in February. So we're making progress and we're not broke, which is nice. Definitely in a better state than we were back in the Wizard of Oz for FM23. So we're moving in the right direction, at least. But right now we're moving in the wrong direction, which is back towards our own goal. And please tell me that was offside before. Pretty please. Linesman doesn't have his flag up. I feel like this is going to be allowed. No, disallowed. Lovely. Let's encourage the boys. And we need to start looking at some changes. I mean, Brunori on a 6.4. Again, just... He, he just doesn't have it. I'm going to drop him back and try him as a deep line forward on attack. To, to get him more involved. And we're just losing out everywhere in midfield. And I think it's Renocchia that's the problem. We're going to take him off in a minute. Because it's, it's very frustrating. And... Oh, Goodness me, we are under the pump. And that is not ideal. Right. Ranokia has not impressed me today. So I'm going to throw Blin on. Do we swap these guys around? Yeah, I like that a bit better. Who else is stinking up the joint? Brunori. I'm going to throw Moscone on and we'll give him a try. I haven't played him for ages because he keeps getting called up for the under 20s and I haven't noticed. So he's not been available for selection for a dog's age but he's here today and hopefully he can help us out uh, what else can we do here just encourage the boys I think we're going to go attacking because nothing's happening uh, Fana really hasn't lit my fire today I'm going to throw 
Pequeno on on that side. Uh, Basic is going to come off and we're going to throw in a Bopato in the center, even though he's not fully fit. And hopefully he can help us out. And now that that's occurred and Saidi is tiring, we're just going to swap them over, push Volpato out there and bring on Warner, I think. No, Marcel. And that's all of our changes, so our defenders are just going to have to make do. And ugh, it's another attacking highlight for Sassuolo here. And that's a foul. That's a red card for Chiquinho. You idiot. You absolute pillock. And that just makes life needlessly difficult. I've still got Saidi on the pitch. Why? That last change not go through. Well, that's just silly. Um, these guys can both play attacking mid, can't they? So let's do that. And you can play as a shadow striker on support. Let's get a little bit further forward. And that's going to have to do. And now we're just in a world of hurt. We definitely can't stay attacking. We have to drop back to positive. We'll encourage the lads, but a moment of madness from Chiquinho for a slide tackle that didn't need to happen at all in that scenario. Very little danger. But yeah, he could have crossed it in. But why snap the man in half? And he's put an undue amount of pressure on his teammates. I don't like it. Just tell the lads, no pressure, just chill out. If we can pick up a point here, I'll take it. Point is fine. We go back above Udinese. Boring draw. We were never really in it. We didn't look great at all. Uh, Brunori, I think... I'm not going to say it, but I think you all know what I'm thinking. Uh, tiny goal return, poor form, and I don't know what to do. chiquinho has got himself banned for a match. We'll criticise Moscone. I think we're done here. What a moron. We're still chasing our first win in six league matches now, which isn't great. Alexis Blinn's got himself suspended as well, so that's fantastic. Pop him out. Pop him out. Volpato is going to go into the middle. We're going to have to stick with this setup, I think. Unless I play Volpato out on that side. Uh, and I want to bring Segre into the team. We'll play these two because they tend to work pretty well together. And next up, we've got Udinese, which is a huge game for us. Very important. Anyway, we shall move on, is what we shall do. And I'll catch you lot in a minute for the Udinese game, unless something interesting happens in the interim. Catch you in a second. Here we go then, ready for a massive game against Udinese. I mean, really, this is must win. This will take us to 35 points and do wonders for our survival chances. We could jump Como, we could jump to Reno and get ourselves up to potentially 12th place, uh, depending on other results. Other results don't really matter in this instance. So it's kind of must win. So obviously I've made some made some changes. I've just clicked on yes to whatever the opposition instructions are because why the hell not? Uh, so we've made some tweaks and some lines are missing, but, but needs must. So uh, new look back four, Dahl, Velukovic, Mercandali and Perozzi are in there. I just want to give Cecharoni a bit of a rest. Uh, he's been great all season. Velukovic's form has been terrible, but this is a chance for him to step up. I'm second guessing myself already, and I'm putting Cech back in as I'm saying it. Uh, Segre and Ranokia in the center of midfield. They generally work pretty well together. No blind today. Uh, Stella is not fully fit. Neither is Segre, but these two usually play pretty well as a partnership. So I'm going with that. And then in attack, uh, again, no uh, Chiquinho, obviously, after his brain fart in the last game. So Saidi gets the nod on the left. Vonna is going to play in the center as the attacking mid. Marcel is going to start on the right because, uh, again, Falpato has not been fantastic. And I'm giving Fofana a run up front because Brunori is doing my head in. And I just can't even. So I'm going to give Fafana a chance. He can play complete forward. He can play advanced forward. We'll probably try for both. And I am going to turn off, play for set pieces, because that's doing absolutely nothing for us. And it's probably costing us more chances than it's providing. So that's what we've got. We're going to the match. Obviously, my decisiveness on display there with like, I'm going to take Cecharoni out. I'm going to put him back in. Velukovic is averaging under a 6.5. So, and Udinese did beat us earlier in the season. So we need to get revenge and hopefully the changes shaking things up a little bit, same shape, of course, but just looking for a response, a reaction from the players, a bit of passion 
a bit of drive, a bit of oomph is what we need. Just some attacking impetus and some goals. But this is an ideal because you know, see, we've got the football. And we need to win it back if we can. And we do. They're so great. Getting involved. To Ranakia. See? Working well. I'm a genius. To Cecharoni. And uh, all those changes were justified right there. Now all we need is for Datre Fafana to score a goal. And uh, I'll seal my status as the greatest manager of all time. Here's Perotti playing it through. Looking for Datre. No joy there. Uh, what idea though? It was a good idea. Win the head of Dale. He does. Dale's back in the team after a bit of an injury layoff. And that's a terrible shot from Ranakia and I don't know why he's tried that because it was low percentage and he put that into the car park it was nowhere near the goal which is incredibly frustrating we're well on top in terms of possession but we're not getting shots away and that's a problem we need to we need to sort that out and uh, get some goals Fruchtel by the way he's on the verge of breaking Matteo Brunori's player of the match record uh, he's been player of the match in so many games this season. Games where we should have lost. He's kept us involved and kept us alive. He hasn't done it that time, though. And we've gone 1-0 down against Uruguay, which is potentially a disaster. I've already switched it to attacking. And no point sitting back if we're chasing the game. That is pointless. We need to get a goal back, and we need to do it sharpish before half time because we do not want to be chasing uh, a one goal de uh, deficit. In the second half we need to take the advantage oh that was close that was very close so he's in with the follow-up shot but no joy the ball's still bubbling around and now it's fallen to Udinese they're trying to launch a counter I was getting confused with my words I didn't even know how to explain what was going on you could see it on the screen it's all fine yeah turn on white ball in the box it's not going to work because it never does here's Saidi now He's just got a wall of Unizi players in front of him. But finds a pass. Here's Datre. He's in. And he's hit the woodwork. Oh, my goodness. What do we have to do to get a goal? I know we're in Italy, but I'm not going to pay off referees if that's what it takes. We're not going to do it dirty. We're in there. Oh, three shots in like five seconds. And we can't put it in the back of the neck. It is infuriating. You've been terrible so far. Sort it out. Oh, my goodness. I'm very frustrated with them. We've had chances. We just, we're just not putting them in the back of the net. Come on, gents. Jack gents, jack 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 gents. I can't even talk. That's how livid I am. Uh, the Fafana experiment has been an abject failure. I'm willing to put my hand up and say uh, uh, it's going to take at least another game to secure my status as the greatest tactician in the history of the world. But that's fine. I got nothing but time. Palermo gave me a new contract. It's not a problem. Segre for miles out. Now he's hit the woodwork. Why are we still shooting from there when I've activated work ball in the box is my question. That seems dumb. We're going to swap Mancala over to the other side and try Saidi over there. Just to try something a little bit different. Fafana's still on the pitch. I want him off the pitch because he's not done the job. Actually, we're going to cancel those changes. How to change a heart. So he's going to go out. Uh, sorry, Fafana's going to go out to the right. Uh, Saidi's so been playing well. Marcel's going to come off and we'll throw on Brunori up there. And we'll see how that goes after whatever happens here. Vana, uh, so that guy, back over the surge. And now we're on the back foot yet again. Do we drop it back to positive because they're still attacking? I don't know. Maybe. But we weren't producing anything with the positive mentality. We'll give it a shot. But we can't allow ourselves to be kept under this much pressure. Now, Fruitel claims it confidently, and we need him to get us going. He hits it long. Brunori's underneath it. Heads it forward. Segre. And we've lost the ball. We've just given it straight back every time. Our midfield's just ineffective. I think we need a midfield three. But as soon as you have a midfield three, we'd lose the ability to get the ball forward without the attacking midfielder. And I can't figure it out. I don't think the shape's right. I don't think we've got the right tactic. I don't think we have the right personnel. And again, we just lose out. And then we get a tackle in and we give it straight back. We've won it there, but, but we've made that difficult for ourselves. Maybe some longer passing. Try to spread the play a little bit more. We're finding some space here. Renoki is in. Shoots. 
And he's made up for his earlier effort and we've equalised. On the positive mentality, I am a genius. Fafana is not getting work done on this right-hand side. He's about as effective as he was up front, which isn't great news. And I'd like him to do better. And I also don't like the Udinese getting a highlight straight from the kickoff following our goal. Almost won it back there. We, I've made that way too easy for them, and that's really frustrating. Oh. Berate them. We'll wait until after this highlight, because if we score, I don't want to hit the <laughs> But who are we kidding? We're not going to score. Fafana shoots, and that was rubbish. Berate them. Come on, you're a goal down. Do something useful. Stop giving it to these clowns. Look at the numbers they've got pouring forward. They're going to score here. Oof. fafana has got to come off. Ropato can come on for him. Bully's going to have to come on there. And we've got a couple of changes up our sleeve. I just don't know what to do. I've got option paralysis, which isn't great at the best of times. I think I will. Just go to slightly shorter. I'll try to get some longer passes and move the ball a little bit faster around the pitch. Brunori's in. And Brunori scored. It's 2-2. He's onside. He's finally got another goal. I did not expect that today, which is why he didn't start. But if he wants to start firing on all cylinders at this point of the season, I'm not against it. It was a good run. It was a clever shot. Completely wrong foot of the keeper. And it's 2-2. Come on, we need another goal. A draw is not enough in this game. It's not good enough. We're going to encourage the lads. We need to make... Our final couple of substitutions because of tired bodies. Ronaki is going to come off for Sotelo. Uh, Perotti's tiring. And it's going to have to be Ratnik playing over there, which is not ideal. He can play as an inverted fullback for us. Why not? He's got three stars of ability doing that job. Right. Chasing the game. We're going attacking. Because, again, there's no point whatsoever to sitting back. We're going very attacking, and if it costs us, so be it. We're hitting in courage. It's not going to happen for us, is it? Oh, chance here. Chance here. Walu, Walu scores! Oh, what an important goal for Walu off the header. And I've been fiddling with the set pieces, which I forgot to mention. I sacked our set piece coach. I'm in the process of signing a new one. I've signed a new one, but I went through and fiddled with it and set up near post and far post and aim for the big guy uh, at the back. And it has paid dividends today. Oh, Walu, he's been in terrible form, but he's won us probably one of the most important games we will play this season. What a three points that is. I'm incredibly excited and incredibly happy. Want to played a great game after sucking nearly all season. He dominated. Uh, Ranakia and these guys all played well. Dahl was great coming back from injury. Uh, everybody off the bench was fantastic. But Wally with the match winner, what a hero. What a hero. And even Brunori did well off the bench for a change. I was not expecting that result. I thought we'd lost it. We went very attacking. We pulled it off. We jumped up to 12, 35 points. Probably five points from safety. And, oh, that is yummy, 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 yummy in my tummy. Right, so the permutations of that and what that means for the remainder of our season. I don't know what matches to show you because it's all getting a little bit tight. Um, we do have 13 points clear between us and Genoa. That's worth four games uh, away from relegation at least, at least. Uh, and we've got, two, 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 what, six games remaining. And Genoa are there. So as much as I'd like to come back and show you the final two games of the season, I think what we're going to do... Uh, have you seen us play Napoli and Parma? I don't think you have. But I'm tempted to come back for Genoa versus Hellas Veronis because those games will probably be, if we can where we secure safety 
And I know it's only two games away from the end of the season, but we're going to get battered against Fiorentina. <laughs> so I don't want to do that. But Genoa and Hellas Verona are what we're going to come back for in a couple of games time and see if we can survive in Syria. And if we do, we'll just bypass the last two games of the season. They won't matter. We'll come back and we'll do some summer transfers. How does that sound? Is everybody on board with that? I'm on board with that. If you have enjoyed that little piece of drama and what an important victory that is seriously oh i am so happy 10 points clear of monza as well shut up dp you're doing a video if you've enjoyed that smash the like button and celebrate while lily's return to form with a magnificent header let me know all about it in the comments you know what just type in the timestamp for that goal in the comments and let everybody know and also hit the subscribe button so you can leave timestamps in the next video as well that'd be super handy jump over to twitch and check out deadpool fc because it's epic and until next time, I shall see you next time. Say hi to your mum for me and be good. If you can't be good, don't get caught.